before I hit to go live and I just wondered if I would break it by hitting a little bit early so hopefully we're we're a couple of minutes earlier and today um, I'm fin hopefully finishing off the makers um, elephant kit we made the mum that we made the baby a couple of weeks ago we did most of the mum we've just got to finish off the mum and then that's the kit done um, I just got the confirmation that my August kit's been posted I think if I remember right it's a panda which is cool because I've been making pandas um, so that's that's all cool have I got have I got one of yeah, I thought I had one of my pandas sitting about to show you that chair. Can you guys hear that chair? That makes some horrible noises. Um, yeah, so as ever, if you can let me know if I'm actually live or if I did this thing wrong and it won't go live until it hits exactly four o'clock. But we're finishing off the mama elephant and I just, I was just kind of here sitting using my multi-needle tool to firm her up a little bit from where we worked to last week. So I thought I would just go live right now and yeah see if it let me go early it does seem to be um so how's everybody's week been um did anyone miss me last week it was it was a great day um but hope i i thought it was a little bit cooler than we'd had for the rest of the week so i decided to me and dog to go for a bit of a hike last sunday and it was a stupid idea went on a place that i'd never been before and it turned out the day got a lot hotter than i anticipated and the walk was a lot steeper than i expected and um yeah <laughs> <laughs> not a whole not a whole lot of fun so we had to decided for the sake of sake of the dog and myself we would head back early still had a nice couple of hours hike anyway so it was all cool um and yeah then instead of getting a nice restful week eatsy went and exploded and done a thing so if anyone wants to know any we're, we're still here for the eatsy chat if anyone wants to know anything about this star seller badge but we are working on the, hey it doesn't look so bad now it, it's still weird but it doesn't look so bad um Oh, we had Erica. I all hope to be here in a little while. Erica was our early bird posting before we were live. Awesome. Um, hope to be here in a bit. Have a great stabbing time. And Sharon's in the house. I'm doing the best to be here, here with you and watch the Olympics. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, how, how, how are we doing? <laughs> Let me know how it's going. Uh, Tobias. Oh, good day from Brisbane in lockdown. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear what's what's happening over there i know you guys deal with it the most sensibly out of all of us i will go down to the top down camera soon we're just chatting just now um yeah you guys have dealt with with all this lager lurgy so well and then just in the closing gasps you're just having trouble with it but yeah sadly lockdown's the the best thing you can be doing just now it's, i'm so sorry um but yeah, just just stay stay safe, stay crafting. Um, yeah, Leona, you are live. Thank you so much. And I happen to be early for the first time ever. Oh, Sharon, it's it's only it's only golf um, <laughs> at the moment. Olympic golf sounds weird. <laughs> CJ, hello there. How are you doing? Sorry if I just squeaked into the microphone. My voice isn't doing great. Um, I've had too many videos. Ooh, right. Okay, you guys can't see. I might as well put up the extra camera, but for some reason it's being she's being blurry. What is wrong with you, darling? Um is that will that work? So I should have switched is is that better? Ah, I think we did it right. <laughs> I magically made the, the image better. Woohoo! Um so now I don't have to hold the elephant up. Uh, what I will do, this this is where we've got to, which I actually think I'm I think I'm not doing too bad, but it does say we can add some more bulk, more heft to the legs. And I actually have a fair bit of grey left. I, I done good. We should have enough for the ears and everything. So I will build up the back legs while we're we're chatting here. Um still got ears, horns, shaping on the head to go, but yeah, I think we can we we've got room to build up the back legs a bit. Because those skinny wee things wouldn't hold her up. Poor, poor elephant mama. <laughs> um, 
Sharon, the elephant ears are too small. The elephant doesn't have ears yet. The, the baby does. <laughs> Baby's got ears, but the, we haven't got as far as the ears on the mama yet. We're just building up the body. Um, yeah, that's... As I say, with needle felting, they always go through some fairly crazy, ugly stages. Um, I've... That doesn't look too bad. That'll work out in the end. Um, uh, Sharon, I agree. No place for golf, football, tennis, rugby at the Olympics. I suppose. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind. Like, because at least they show like the women's football and things. I don't really watch much of the Olympics. But I, I just watch the highlights. I get the news. Um, I don't mind because they show like women's football, which doesn't really get much notice on the news. But then, if our team win, it's suddenly like, oh look, um, how how great are our women? Like, yeah, you don't you don't hear about them every week when they're playing, but suddenly they're saviors. <laughs> Whereas, yeah, with the the men's the men's football, well, yeah, football's definitely covered enough in the UK. I know different for different countries. Not, not every country is so mad about football or soccer as our Americans like to call it because you've got your own football um, <laughs> that you don't use your feet and the ball's the wrong shape and all them things. Um, <laughs> uh, again, tennis, yeah, I... I seem to remember, like, when I was a kid, I thought the Olympics were for people who weren't professional. So, like, Andy Murray and them couldn't be in the Olympics because, you know, they get paid fine already. <laughs> um, oh, yes, it, it, it changed with... Um, didn't Torval and Dean got to go back, didn't they? But as soon as you sort of... Before, as soon as you went professional as soon as you got paid for it you couldn't do the olympics and then they changed it yeah and torval and dean got to go into it again and got disqualified for doing an illegal lift which they really should have known better um, yes so yes they changed they changed that i'm not sure how i feel i mean i i think it's super unfair that the you know before the athletes couldn't get paid for what they were having to do um but but even still i believe the bmx the uk got a bmx gold a woman's gold a couple of days ago and she'd had the crowd fund to get out to the olympics so yeah it seems a bit <laughs> seems very unfair really we, sh we should have have a pot that sends out all the athletes not just not just the ones that are tv stars um Tobias, it's inside out. <laughs> the the elephant or or what's happening in your country just now? Um <laughs> Sharon's just kidding about the ears. You teeth, see? Um <laughs> Oh Sharon, yeah, definitely when you do Felton, you could run a guess what it's guess what it's gonna be. I'm not going to say, can you see what it is yet? Because sadly, that's not cool anymore. People of a certain age will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> From a certain age and in the UK, will know what I'm talking about and why I can't use that just now. Um, anyway, um, and yeah, there's far too much footy on the TV for my liking. Completely agree. I mean, it's cool if you like football, but we don't need to hear, like... For those of you not in the UK, like football's on, I think it's just about every Saturday all through the year. They take a summer break, but even then there's there's all sorts of tournaments and things. So you'll get an update on the news about what happened. And then there's a section in the news that's a sport update and they'll update on what happened. And it's generally only sort of at Olympics that they suddenly remember that there there are other sports out there football's not the only sport in the world yeah so <laughs> it is it is a little annoying if you don't like football <laughs> um oh tobias the fencing was on and no tv channel showed it what a waste yeah they, there's there's just some sports that are just not considered trendy which is a, a total shame something like fencing um, you know, yeah, I wouldn't watch it all the time, but you know, why not see it when it's 
<laughs> when it's on the Olympics, it's a good way to let other people see about it. Um, and, you know, I didn't realise, you know, you say, oh, like fencing, it's an outdated sport or whatever. But if I understand correctly, I think people who are going into acting and things tend to have to learn fencing because they have to learn swordplay to be in swashbuckling movies. So it's not an outdated thing. It's a kind of handy skill to have if you're going to be in the theatre, darling. Um, but yeah, it'd be kind of fun to to watch. It would be even better if they had less padding and everything on and there was real danger about it. Proper. Instead of fencing, proper swordman's swordmanship. Um, Sharon, yeah, the football competitions disrupt all the regular TV programmes too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't like really watch any of the soaps or anything, but the, the soap operas are supposed to be, are, are like generally scheduled on this you know the same time same day and they get shifted if this football or or worse if something goes to penalties shock horror everything everything else has to be late so you put the tally on looking for a certain thing and you you get pe penalties going on um Susan, the swimming and diving has been fantastic. Come on, GB. Yeah. Um. Again, I don't. I don't watch it. I've been getting the updates, but yeah, the the look on the guys' faces when they've won and everything. It was so lovely. And oh, I'm gonna do it. Gonna do a rude one, but um, has has anyone seen them? Claire Balding is a presenter here in the UK. She does. She she often does the sports and especially animal things. But she was interviewing the swimmers, the the male swimmers, and they're like they're they're a group of I think they're like eighteen or so. They're young lads or anything, and just the look on on one of their face, he couldn't hide it when um when she turned to one of the guys and said, "That was a phenomenal third leg you have," and they all just killed themselves laughing at the <laughs> the implied rude joke there, um random aside. But yeah, um the UK's been doing great in the swimming um. Everyone, where you are, if you follow the Olympics, what's what's your country been doing good in? And do do you cheer your country along? <laughs> um, I say country; it's 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 the UK for us now. So we've gone from football, where you you only cheer your your actual country along, to suddenly we're we're all together again. <laughs> um, oh, Tobias, you're a swordsman from years ago. Fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's it. If you were into that, you definitely want to want to see it when it's featured in the Olympics. That's so like once, well, once every four years, once every five years. Unfortunately, my sport doesn't get featured at all because it's not actually considered a sport yet. Um, I do dog agility. And if you watch some of the people at the top of their game, it's definitely a sport. But because unlike with the, the horses, it's the rider that's awarded um, in dog agility because the dogs awarded the, the awards, the ribbons and everything, the, the dog gets the place. Um, it can't be considered a sport. Really weird. Um, Charlene didn't get to see Tom Daly's individual gold. Yeah, I didn't see see the win, but I saw the replay. It was cool. Um, Kerry recently discovered your YouTube channel. Oh, cool. welcome aboard. And now I'm addicted. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for all the easy tips and help i hope you're keeping well oh thank you so much i'm i'm so glad i'm able to to help and welcome to the crafty clan it's good to have you aboard and um, this is our for for anyone who's new just now this is our sundays are a are a day of crafting um so this is my friends at the makers do a monthly needle felting kit and yeah we just make their projects so this is um this is this will be <laughs> the the felted we should put the baby in the shot um the needle felted mama and baby kit we should be finishing it off today um but yeah so it's just an easier easier chat um but if anyone has any questions about the whole eatsy we won't call it a fiasco but the whole eatsy interesting situation 
let me know but otherwise let's let's just have a chill chat uh tobias eatsy won the men's gold medal in the bmx awesome yeah so so glad bmx is included as it's a great spectator sport yeah i agree bmx and um i saw some skateboarding as well which is cool i like seeing some of the the different sports out there different things that you don't usually get to see um because yeah, it, it for so long it just seemed to be all the all these fancy all the all the fancy sports, <laughs> um, but never just the kind of fun ones that you could see yourself doing. And when I was a kid, I totally wanted to do BMX, but I already had a bike and we couldn't couldn't get a BMX bike as well. <laughs> um, Sharon, you ride dog. <laughs> You've seen the size of my dog. I have a, a 10 kilo dog. <laughs> um, um, I, I have a 10 kilo dog, so I don't I don't think that would be fair because I I am slightly over the 10 kilo category. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it, it's not exactly like the horse riding things. Um, but <laughs> Yes, it would be cool if there was other animal sports. Um, I'm trying to think what other... I mean, all the horse... Not all the... But the horse ones are included. Um, I don't know. Is there a three-day eventing at Olympics? I can't remember. But you've got the dressage the dressage to music. I can't remember. Well, there's horses dancing, which is pretty cool to watch. Um, but they do have show jumping and things. Yeah, there's a lot of things that aren't quite... Aren't quite shown so much unless the UK happens to do really well at them. And I suppose that's the same in other people's countries. You'll get shown the things that are likely to be of an interest to to your population. Um, <laughs> CJ, no Pam, fencing is a gentleman's sport. Or if you're gonna say gentleman, I think it's lady, not woman. So it's a gentleman or lady sport. <laughs> no blood, lots of padding. Yay, Olympics. Yes, that a lot of them are kind of ladies and gentlemen sport rather than bmx and what was the other skateboarding and things um oh tobias sounds fun done every every european sword type from roman gladius to elizabethan rapier and modern ep i don't know that one i've, I've i know the the normal fencing ones are called a foil I haven't heard of ep you could just be making stuff up because you know I'll read it. But yeah, that sounds cool. That sounds fun as well. Um, yeah, dangerous, <laughs> dangerous but fun. Yeah, right. Okay. She she's definitely starting to look more elephanty. Um, I'm on to. I'll go on to the next page because I think I've got some. Yeah, I want to do some head shaping. The underside of her head looks big enough, but I just want to sort of chunk out the forehead a little bit and then we've got ears and tusks hopefully the ears will bring it together and she'll look like an elephant once we've done them <laughs> um yeah pamela nice nice skill set tobias yeah definitely sounds fun oh focusing a little bit on trying to get an elephant shaped head here i think for some, I think I put my front feet, my front legs a little too far forward, so the trunk seems a little short, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> Sharon, you've heard of an EP, it's a popular crossword answer. I can see that, three E's, that was, oh, a good Scrabble one too. I've not played Scrabble in decades, I can't spell, so I'm terrible at it, but yeah, I can see that, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, there is certain answers that, they things that seemed really obscure so they get used in like pub quiz and crossword answers for so long that suddenly they they stop being obscure because everyone's heard of them from crosswords <laughs> which is quite amusing oh she's she's starting to look elephanty i think um Oh, CJ, I didn't even notice that. So many of the skateboarders don't wear helmets. You were shocked they didn't make them wear them in the Olympics. I never even thought of that. I hadn't been paying attention. When I think of a skateboarder, I see them. I just see Tony Tony Hawks, and he always had it. Hmm, that's interesting, because, like, helmets are 
a great place to put all the sponsors. Are they allowed? To... Are the athletes allowed sponsorship at the games? Probably not. I haven't even thought of that. Maybe that's why they had to take their helmets off because they're all got sponsors on them. <clears throat> I couldn't find a clean glass. I <clears throat> I discovered I I made tried to make cold brew coffee for the first time last night. So my my only clean glass that I haven't tidied away just now. Um, is is all covered in cold brew and I didn't want to mix it with tonic water and it's just tonic water there is no gin in it even though people do suggest I should I am thinking right um for everyone who's an Etsy seller Etsy is supposed to be getting back to the Q&A in the forums next Friday um, so I was going to sort of go through them all on a live together and I was wondering about having a wee cider and just sitting and um seeing how sarcastic I can get about what Eatsy say <laughs> with the wee cider. So if anyone wants to come along and have a little drink with me on Friday <laughs> while we cover what what Eatsy's up to, that sound that sounds interesting to me. <laughs> How to get a get a stream switched off by YouTube. Right, I'm gonna no, I'm going to keep felt in this because it's super annoying me how unelephanty this looks. I don't know. She's just. I'm. I'm just not feeling it for her face. I'm sorry, darling. So I might have to kind of build up some more here. Who else? Um, hand hands up, everyone. If you're actually making the elephant and where you've all got with her, she seems to have a bit, a bit of a kind of dip here, and then goes up for the forehead. I suppose my problem is with a lot of the animals is I make their heads too big. So because her head's not looking giant, I'm worrying that I've not got it right when I actually might have. And we know I whinge all the way through making these and then at the last minute they always come together and look kind of good. I want more, a little bit more trunk there as well. It just does not look long enough to me. And if I go overboard and it's too long, then I can always chop a bit off and make you all wince. Um, Bridget, hey there. Hi, clan. Um, you've been watching and listening. Good to see you. Um, nice elephant there. I'm assuming that's nice, but I like really nice, nice elephant. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't. I got lost in, in Facebook. I'm not seeing the announcements I want to see. Yeah, Facebook seems to be an absolute pig just now, so I've not seen anybody else's elephants yet. So so get them up. It's it's the start of the new month. For everyone who doesn't know, the elephant box was the July project box. The makers do a box every single month with a different um with a different project in it. And July was the elephant baby and mama. She's got some hiss. Where did you pick up I see? Um yeah, so July was the baby and mama elephants, um, which we're just finishing off because August has just been shipped. I just got the notification today that my order has been shipped. So, yee. <laughs> um. Oh, Erica, love the baby and mom already. She, she's getting there. I might have overdone the trunk now, of course. <sighs> We'll get to it. Um, uh, Dawn, hello there. You're not making an elephant, but you're on your second gecko. Oh, cool. I want to do a gecko. I really enjoyed making a frog when I did it like years ago. I want to do a gecko. Um, Bridget, Kath and Kim, com comedians say noise. I don't know them. Oh, cool. Anyway, no, it's cool. We're, we're going to say noise from now on. Noise. Okay, so we're. That's how big? Yeah, it does kind of go all the way to the. Yeah, because they've got to pick up things. Um, Sharon, you're not a stabber. Yes, I know you're a jewel. You're a jeweler. Retaking pictures of your turquoise collection at the moment. 
as well as listening to you and keeping a half an eye on the Olympics for when they move away from the golf multitasker. Awesome. <laughs> uh, you'll have to let us know if there's any cool results come up. Um, yeah, as I said, I just generally catch it up in the news at the end of the day. Um, Tobias, I agree. I think the elephant, I think I put the front legs too far forward. So she, well, there is, hang on. There, there's magic you can, there we go. There's magic you can do with wires to make them. There we go. Because elephants do have sort of saggy bums, if you know what I mean. And so just bending her down a bit, that'll smooth out. And suddenly it looks a bit more, looks not bad actually now. <laughs> That's the joy of felting is you can push things about until you get a kind of shape that you like. That's started to look elephanty. And when I shoved it up like that, it started to put some of the, the kind of creases in and stuff that you see. And still want to just still want to fidget with this head i'm not quite happy with it but i think when ears go on it might look better so let's just do that um, where did we get to oh bridget you're in semi-lockdown as well yeah you guys take care hopefully this won't be for for too long and can get things under control. I really, I'd hoped because you'd done so well in the past that this whole Delta thing wasn't going to hit you too hard. You know, you would get a couple of cases, get on top of it, it would all be good. But yeah, this this whole Delta is a bit, a bit on the special side. So hopefully, couple, couple of weeks, couple of days lockdown, and everybody get your arms jabbed um and then things hopefully hopefully will start to be getting better i've been say been saying that from january just saying oh yeah this is the last thing it's going to start getting better and then and then the world went no now we're we're going to cook something fun up in india and um, not to be political but um our government will go no we're going to hold hold off shutting off flights there till we've done our business talks and oh what a surprise has that has that really transmissible one gone gone boom in your country who'd have thought but hopefully 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 it's just a little blip before everything gets better cuz yeah this has been an exceptional 18 19 months hasn't it guys um uh, Tobias is doing pixel art and 3D pen crafting. Oh, cool. I fancied 3D pen pens. Oh, what I would love to, because what I used to do um, when I was out and I was a bit bored by the conversations or slightly worse for wear from the night before or something, and pubs when they put up like all the fancy candles when they were burning down, I would like to like take a bit of wax and then dip it in the melty wax and kind of sculpt things out of it i always loved that uh, a melty wax sculpting pen would be great but yeah i fancy trying 3d 3d pens they they look fun um and pixel art i have no idea what that is but it sounds good <laughs> sharon we all have saggy bums from a certain age thankfully my bum is behind me and i don't have to worry about what it looks like <laughs> so I've I've never had a had a self consciousness about my backside because I don't have to look at it. Uh, Tobias, you're in full lockdown until Tuesday afternoon. That'll come around in no time. I, amusingly enough, I was just remembering um, <laughs> when we first went into lockdown, and I was because I chose getting sick like right at the start. So I was I was locked down for ten days, and I thought that was such a long time, and yeah, now, now you're just like, oh, where did that week go? Um, and we're not locked down, locked down, but I'm kind of locked down. Um, the, um, CJ, you're not aiming for the star badge on Etsy. I don't blame you. I, I'm swithering whether to try for it just to 
just for the sake of a video, to be honest, just so I can communicate to all of you guys or just to leave it. I'm not mad on it. There's a couple of things that I'm not happy about because shipping labels and stuff don't don't support my local post office and I want to support my local post office. So I'm not happy with that. So I haven't decided. Um, you answer your messages within 24 hours and have five stars. Sounds like you're doing great, but your dragon shop does not hit eats as quotes as each month. Yeah. Um, as you'll see, I'm, I'm not at the quote. <laughs> I'm not making enough sales because I was, I've had a lazy summer. <laughs> um, I'm trying to build, build back up again. So I'm ready. Oops, so I'm ready for Christmas, but I don't freak out about what's happening over the summer. So, I, yeah, at the minute in time, it's not even possible for me to get my star badge because I've not stole, stole, sold enough stuff. Um, oh, Bridget, yes. She says, that sounds great, Tobias. Not the lockdown, the, the arts. Yes, I agree. And yes, Tobias, sorry, um, I, sh I should be more... <laughs> I should be more clear when I'm being sarcastic. Um, but yes, um, the we don't necessarily know where these waves come from. Um, we call it the Indian, well, Delta from India. And, and then there was, I can't remember what they decided to label the Essex one, the UK one and stuff. And it's not necessarily that they've come from these places. That's just where they've been identified. So lots of countries aren't checking as much they're not doing genetic tests so it could have come from a different country and then just been discovered in india so yes sorry i, I should totally say things like that um uh, susan do you need ppi insurance to sell your makes um i'm not sure what ppi stands for but no um well in in the uk there is no legal requirement for insurance to sell to sell the makes um is that is the ppi is that the toy things i can't remember i'm confused with too many acronyms but no we certainly we certainly don't need to you can get all sorts of um insurances that that does look more elephanty now doesn't it um, you can get insurances to to cover you, you know, business insurance and everything, but you don't legally have to. Um, but obviously, then you're taking risks if things if things go wrong. But life's life's a risk. All right, I'm going to go on to some ears because I found I've, I've been tidying up. <laughs> I found my my earth my little earth mat thing so I can make some ears on that. We don't want to go overboard because I want to save some wool for save some wool for like tidying up other bits. Right, let's figure out. I probably want an ear about that size. So all I'm doing, yeah you can kind of see I'm just kind of sketching out a sort of ear. So these bits will stick into the mat and then I can fold over. I'm going to leave, that should be the bit that attaches to the head. So I'm going to leave that fluffy and kind of try and smooth out these edges. Back onto the three star, the three needle before I get told off for not using it. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, well, guys, let me know in the chat what kind of do you have any insurances for your business and what what insurances do you have and are they is, is it a legal requirement in your country to have any? Because um, every country is different for sure. Um, Oh, Susan, the artisan market ask for insurance and your local church hall ask for it too. I'm new to this. Yeah, um, some some places will to, to cover their own back. Some like big crafty things will have their own insurances that cover sellers. That's sometimes why you have to pay a lot to go into 
into these places. And um, the craft fairs I've done never required insurance, so it's not everything. Um, right, let's sketch out the second ear before I go and make this one firmer because they will get a little smaller as you go along felting them. So. Trace around the ear, they're not going to be identical. Uh, sisters, not twins. <laughs> there we go. Um, Bridget, oh, if I disappear, it's because I got noticed they're working on my internet tonight. Oh, dear. No, they're not allowed to switch off internet when you guys are in lockdown. That's No, that's an essential service. I, do you know, I had the exact same thing. When when we first went into lockdown, suddenly my inter internet went really patchy, and it's been great before. You know, generally I'm on super fast fiber and no problems but as soon as we went into lockdown it's like everybody else was wanting to work from home and my internet just went yeah we can't cope it's fine now but I, that's I was totally like no you can't take away my internet <laughs> totally need this um Sharon ah thanks for the info yeah for outdoor events you need public liability insurance PLI right yes gotcha <laughs> um CJ, absolutely. Most needle felters say their sculptures are not toys and not made for children. Absolutely. If you start selling things designed for children, um, then there's all sorts of different regulations that you need to look into. And it's an absolute nightmare. So I always not that they're not designed for children anyway. They're not toys. I'm not going to spend. I mean, even even at a at a quick, quick playing with them, these these elephants are taken over three hours already to make. That's not something for a kid for a toy. Um, but yeah, so we say these are sculptures, they're individual works of art, and they're not designed for children. <laughs> um, Tobias, you don't need insurance to make craft, but you're expected to take them out at the big craft shows. That makes sense. Yep. Yes, public liability insurance. I, I understand now. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, definitely certain events and things can request whatever they want to to cover their own backs as well. So you've got to look in the regulations in your country, in your local area sometimes, and at the events and things that you're going to. But Etsy don't require us to have insurance yet. Don't don't tell them that's a possibility. <laughs> that's not a bad year. It's quite a bit bigger than the one the makers made. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got ear, we've got tusks, and we've got eyes. And I'm not doing the, the landscape because I'm going to have to gonna have to pull together if I haven't see where I put them. I'm going to have to pull together all the structural felt and maybe send that out to someone because I can't, my allergies are just too much for the structural felt. Oddly enough, I can cope with the felting fibres, but yeah, the that structural felt, which is used, I will, I can show, to make the dioramas for the, the critters to go on, I just can't use it. Um, Round to it. I was trying to figure out what your name was. I was going round to it. No, it's round to it. Brilliant. Um, it was like selling jewellery. If you can't verify the metal, you say um, it's for bag ornaments, which have less strict rules. Yeah, I mean, I suppose that's it. You can't say you can't say it's gold if you don't know it's gold. You can say it's a. I think you can say it's a gold-coloured metal. Don't take my word for any kind of jewellery things. Yes. Um, But yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> For bag ornaments. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so if people choose to do something else with it, that's on them. But you can't you can't say it's for jewellery. Um Susan, 
is public liability available as a one-off or is it yearly insurance? Um, I haven't looked into it as a crafter, but I have seen in the past other types of insurance you were able to take out for one event, the singular event. But then if you're if you're having lots of events, then it makes more sense to go yearly but yeah guys let us to Sharon Sharon seems to be the expert here our, our riffing reporter from the insurance side Sharon um ran to it yeah they might let you do a shorter shorter period I think generally with these kind of things if they do if it's a one-off then it's probably better to do it one-off but if you're doing more than once then you're probably cheaper to do annual payments anyway um it starts to get very costly very quickly but yeah it'd be interesting to hear from anybody who's who's got it who's been using it how it works and also when you're going to put these things in let us know what country you're in as well because obviously everybody's country is different and youtube disclaimer as well <laughs> <laughs> um, none of us are insurance experts, so don't take advice. Don't take any kind of legal or otherwise advice from a random stranger off the internet. Always check that things are <sighs> what the actual truth in what people are saying is. Um... Bridget, you don't use the structural felt great. You wear a mask and vacuum up the fibres. Yeah, I, I can see that. It, it is great, but it is great for what it does. <laughs> um, but it's totally not, not necessarily great for the stray fibres. Um, uh, Tobias, you take out single events as yearly. It's not. You take out for single events, it's not affordable or cost effective for yearly. Yeah, it did, well, certainly for the past year when we've not been able to have many events, definitely not. Um, but yeah, look into to everything. Uh, Susan's in the UK, yep. Uh, Charlene, you use Axis Web, it costs 2 50 a month. Wow, that's really cheap. £2.50 a month, not 200 £2.50 a month and you can stop it at any time. Wow, that, okay, that's really affordable then. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're not selling anything, then it all adds up. But yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um, and you're in the UK too, yes. Um, ran to it. I used to have it in your shop, but um, now don't have it as your online only. But in theory, we should have it just in case. Absolutely. I mean, always look into and see what the benefits are and stuff, and think about what you know. Do your do your risk to reward ratio and see if it's worth it if you don't have to have it. It is something I will definitely look into in the future. Um, some things are are useful, um, but yeah, it just depends. I, I think do we do we have any Americans in the house today? I think things like that are a little stricter in America to to cover you if someone buys off you and then injures them that they're like shove an elephant up their nose and have to be in hospital or something <laughs> whereas I, I think in other countries we are a bit more like no you're not getting money just stop being stupid uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure a lot of things get thrown out of court in in America as well but I, I think you have to be a little more careful I'm totally not an expert on insurance um every um, well, I was going to say they're totally not the same size. They're not bad, but I just have to make this one a little littler. I think that one's a little softer, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and yes, then we've got tasks. Oh, I've been tidying. I was going to say, should I make really big tasks? But no, we don't want to. Not going to make really big tasks. Not going to encourage the 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 bad to the the ivory smugglers <laughs> we're just going to give her little tasks right if we got yeah that one's a little bit no it is going to annoy me um this one's a bit littler and a bit softer so i'm just going to add a little more fibers um that's a good good thing when you're felt in these your your fingers are really good at feeling the difference, they're quickest measurements ever. So just 
just have a feel that everything's going how you want it to. Hmm, it's about quarter to five. Am I going to manage to finish an elephant in the time? Can she? Oh, she does stand up. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even think to check that yet. Um, Right, I think that's good enough for just now. The ears, she is a bit of a dumb, but sorry darling, I like making oversized ears. It's because Sharon said she couldn't see them, so I'm making bigger ears so you can definitely see them. I think I just want to bring these down a little bit. Um. Yeah, I would generally spend absolutely ages firming that and shaping it. You can even trim them if it's the wrong shape. But I think sometimes it's fun not to be perfectionist, just to throw it together and see what you've got, because that does that does look like an elephant now, a little bit. <laughs> um, not perfect, but it looks like an elephant. Uh, an elephant um round to it don't you use a machine you mean a felting machine um such things do exist but they terrify me um you do get but um i'm worried about the vibrations from them i've never even actually tried one i should i should try a felting machine at some time maybe um anyone on here have you have you guys tried a felting machine i they, they scare me because literally if I stab my fingers with a regular needle, I can feel that I've um, I can feel that I've stabbed my, my fingers and I can stop and not do it again. Whereas with a machine that's stabbing at 200 times a minute or whatever, I can stab my fingers a few hundred times before I realize I've done it. <laughs> um. If that's what you mean. Um, Pamela, nice to have 3D printer capabilities. Oh, is Tobias got a 3D printer as well? Cool. Uh, CJ, I think the star badge is going to be a problem for suppliers who send out thousands of things a day. I think it's going to be a problem for people who send out a lot. It's going to be a problem for people who send out little. It's going to be a problem for everyone who's not in the US. <laughs> um, it's going to be a problem for people who are in the US. There's so many. I'm actually just now, well not just now, I'm stabbing an elephant just now. Your ears are a bit low, aren't they? Well, that'll do. Um, but I'm making up a list of all the things that are, that are wrong with it. Um, now, I don't think something like this should be something that everybody immediately can get. It should be something to aspire to, but it should be something that's possible to aspire to, whereas for quite a lot of people it's not. And right, Can somebody let me know, actually? I'm seeing people are saying on forums and things that if you leave a review from the phone app, you can only leave four stars, and that sounds weird. I've never left a review from the phone so I've never seen that and when I went and looked I've got none that that are waiting for me to give reviews so I can't see but if that's the truth then that's very oh hiccups that's very weird um um round to it there are guards around them so that shouldn't be a problem that that I, I can stab myself <laughs> That, that I clumsy, clum, uh, that I, I would manage to stab myself perfectly fine. Shh, cut your legs a bit, darling. I have gone a bit mad on the ears. <laughs> um, I, I would, it's, I would felt them firmer so they would get smaller. But yeah. <laughs> um Tobias, yes, with those la large ears, it must be a loxodonta African elephant as opposed to a. <sighs> See, teaching me all the time, teaching me, you're just like, let's see if we can get Pam to say words wrong, as opposed to an Elephas Maximus Indicus Indian elephant. <laughs> yes, it's an African elephant, <laughs> absolutely. Um, right, let's do tusks. So, a couple of pinches of white. I wonder how big the tusks are going to turn out. Um, 
Oh, Pamela, you have both handheld, not your favourite, and a sewing machine like a felting machine. You do enjoy. I've seen like the sewing machine. They can do flat projects really cool. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I can. I can see the benefit of that, um, but I'm not a. I'm scared by the handheld one. I will try it sometime. And you're saying it's not your not your favourite either. Um, CJ, you thought about what, buying an electric stabber felting machine, but realised you like stabbing. It's mentally relaxing. Yeah, I, I think that's another good point is I think if I had a machine, I would have to pay attention. And I think we can all see that I'm not really paying attention just now. I don't know. You'd probably get used to it, but no. Uh, Bridget, yes, yes, African elephant. <laughs> yep. Um, Susan, you have the three needle machine, only use two needles in it. Uh, perfect for smoothing as long as the wires are deep. Yeah, I suppose it could be good for finishing off things. Yeah, um, that's, that's true. But you don't want it to. Yeah, you don't have the feedback, I suppose, to know if you're hitting an, if you're hitting a wire or something. So it might be a little easier to break the break the needles yeah Tobias felt stabbing is cathartic I can't say words Cathar yes <laughs> it is it is nice to have a it's not even a hobby is it it's, it's a job my job involves stabbing things <laughs> yes there is there is something cool about it it's relaxing and cathartic at the same time Ca am I even saying that right do you know you have days where you've got words to say and that it's words you use all the time and just suddenly no you haven't got a clue how to how to say actual words again i would spend absolutely hours on making this firm i would also probably oh i do have a pipe cleaner there yeah you could make your life a little easier with things like tasks if you just um cut a couple of bits of pipe cleaner and wrap them and then it's just easier to make it all nice and firm and then shape it into the place you want that would be a bit easier um bridget i couldn't use a machine handheld you tried too much vibration um you thought it was too much like a strange torture machine <laughs> yeah um i totally <laughs> i totally fear that as well um i have i've spoke about it before and in years past i used to get like a r rsi like basically sprains in my hand since using the thicker um felting needle holders i don't get them so much but it's it's not great for your hands and i do worry the the machines the handheld machines might be vibratory but oh <laughs> Sharon, teach Pam how to say big words. Cathartic. Cathartic. Yeah, what was I saying? Who knows? Anyway, thank you, Sharon. <laughs> Tobias, stop it. Add the verb add the verbum to your vocabulary lexicon, Pam. <laughs> Bridget, like the sound of stabbing. I don't know how well that comes over on the mic. I don't I don't quite have a ASMR mic. I should maybe do that and just do like felting videos of just me stabbing and then be like craft to sleep to. And yeah. It's... Oh Pamela, yeah, the handhelds are also noisy. Yeah, that might be a good point. I certainly <laughs> a live stream with <sighs> strange stabbing machine going on yeah that that might not work i make enough noise already with banging into things and crinkling boxes and everything possibly a handheld machine not such a good idea right, are these even close to i am having a day of not getting things even okay that's better I tidied up so I've got scissors in a box let's just snip them and where does tusks come about here I said I wasn't going to make them huge and then I made them huge 
Okay, no pictures around here, please. Um, And then a small piece of grey to blend them in. Should we do? I think that looks kind of good. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, Susan, thank you. Don't change, Pam. We like you as you are. Uh, someone who can't can't say even the most normal of words. I, I can't in the real world. I can. It's just as soon as you come online and you're live, it's like, no, can't do speaking. I can't do these things I used to be able to do. Oh, and now I'm now I'm focusing. <laughs> Trying to make these even. They are supposed to be slightly behind the trunk. There we go. That's better. Always good to have sort of reference photos. I'm using the maker's pictures in the tutorial, but um, yeah, it's good to have reference photos so you can see what you're trying to make. Yeah. Oh, Tobias, thank you. Um, Sharon, the tusks should curl up a bit. Yes, um, if if I'd have put them on a wire, it would be easier to do that. But yes, I'm pushing them back and curling them up a little bit. Um, <laughs> CJ, oh, thank you. Five stars for the dino shirt. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. Um, when I was doing. Last two weeks ago, I did the video for what what trends are going to be for fall, and none of the places were saying dinosaurs. None of the big trend guide places were saying dinosaurs, but I've been seeing dinosaur clothes in my feed everywhere. I was like, no, dinosaurs are going to be a trend. I'm just going to tell. <laughs> I I'm just going to say it. It's my trend guide. I'm saying dinosaurs are going to be a trend. Um, Sharon, no, 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 sorry at all. No, I, I love it when you guys are giving me tips as I go along. <laughs> and yeah, there is a bit of there, there's a bit of a delay in when you type things to when I get to see them. So I'm, I might have made a change. Um, I really, really do need to spend time to felt down her ears so they don't look quite so massive, but I think it's cute. And how have I put your head on, Squint? Straighten up, dear. And I also need to felt all of this a bit firmer, but I want to... Did I actually save her eyes? There's some eyes. <laughs> okay, so the position of the eyes seem to be around about here looks good i'm just felting all in one place to make a little hole um and it's not all that well firmly felted so it'll go in easy um and you should use some glue to get it to stick yeah that looks about right chances of making it even on both sides are zero Oh, thanks, Bridget. Yeah, stay happy and enjoy life. Absolutely. And I number two. They're not going to stay very well because that's not firmly felted and I have no glue in, but she has a face. Just go over the... <laughs> I was saying, are we going to be able to make her before the end of the hour and we did so the mama elephant took a bit like i would as i always say i would felt it a bit firmer and so pr 
probably another hour working on it and it'll be something I'm happy with. Um, so three hours for the mama elephant, about maybe an hour and a half to two hours for the baby. That's not a bad, bad for a monthly project. Um, let's, let's, I hate this, go up to the big camera so you can, ooh, get a look at elephant. So this, this is me elephant. Got a bit of firming up to do, but actually, no, I don't. I think, I think she's fine. Um, I'm not making these to sell, of course. I just make these for fun projects for something a bit different. But I think, oh, damn, right. oops. <laughs> Here's our little elephant family. Um, I've got to tidy up what's going on here um, before before I put them back into it. But yeah, that's that's our project. That's yeah. So she hasn't got a home yet because that's we had a landslide of felties. I've got so many in there. Um, we did that exactly an hour's worth of felting today. An hour's worth of recording. Oh, that was fun. Um, I look forward to seeing all your elephants. Um, definitely post them in the makers group because it's their it's their kit. And if you want to, you can post them in Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends. It is Crafty Friends. Yes, I haven't been able to change it to Crafty Clan yet. Um, but guys, yeah, have an awesome week. Um, I will no doubt see all you eat seers quite a few times because there's a lot to talk about this week. Um, but you guys have an awesome time and I will, if, if not next week, I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>